There we go. Morning, folks. How we doing on this fine Wednesday morning? Quarter after ten. I know I'm starting a bit late, and I have great excuses. Okay, first excuse. This computer. I had everything all set up, all prepped, everything was good and cool. I started painting. I had everything laid in. We were on a roll. And then the computer crashed. Bam! Lost everything. So now I have to redo everything and I don't know how to do it again. So I printed out pictures. <laughs> so anyway, so what we're going to do today is Fluffy Owl. Fluffy Owl. Look at this. Isn't he just adorable? He or she? He or she? Your owl can be a boy or a girl. Oh, Fluffy Owl. Gonna put him back here because mine's a boy. Fluffy Owl. Fluffy Owl. And uh, what we're gonna do is pick a canvas. Any size canvas because it's just a, a picture of an owl. So, any size canvas. And here I think mine is 11 by 14. From Michaels. It was white. And then it was blue. And then it was a duck. And then this morning it was an owl. Probably still see my owl details in there. <laughs> But anyway, I painted over it again. So this canvas has been painted over, I want to say, four or five times. So recycle, recycle, recycle. You can recycle your canvases. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Nothing wrong with painting over your work. First thing I do when I've all done my work is I take a picture. So that way it's in my... In my uh, in my camera and I have it for future so I can say oh hey look at I painted this and I no longer have it because you know what you can only have so many art pieces like my walls are covered I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squish them all together and make it like wallpaper <laughs> I don't know I don't know but anyway on to our owl so this owl here has a pink background today we're gonna use turquoise it doesn't matter which color background you want to use. You can use blue, you can use red, you can use white, you can use the turquoise like me, you can use the pink back here. But we're gonna switch things up. We're gonna make a girl owl today. So we're gonna do it in pink and purple and uh, make the background turquoise. Already done. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. Is, I'm gonna actually show you my palette first which has already got stuff painted around on it. Now I must say, I'm not sure how this paint is gonna work or if there's a film on it. While the computer crashed, I was waiting for it to start up. I got a phone call. Well, not a phone call, I got a text for a wake and bake. Who turns down a wake and bake? Anyway, I went down, had a wake and bake, came back. So, wasn't gone that long, so hopefully the paint isn't got a film over it. Because if you leave your paint too long, you can get a film over it. But before I left, I gave it a spritz of water. And I'll show you. Just a little spritzing, because I do essential oils too. Oh, love my essential oils. Haven't gotten into them for a while since my mom died. But I think I'm going to get into them. I'm going to put a diffuser up here. With some stress or something, stress relief or something. But anyway, it's a little... It's just a little mist. So I misted my palette before I left. And so the colors we're going to use today are Cad Yellow, Phthalo Blue, Phthalo Green, Mars Black, Titanium White. This is Phthalo Turquoise, which is Phthalo Blue and Phthalo Green mixed together. Then we have uh, purple and magenta. They have words in front of them and after them that I can't pronounce. 
like this is I think purple dioxide or dioxide or something and this is Quadrocridone magenta don't quote me <laughs> and this is just another little pile of titanium white that I use to mix the turquoise to create my background which dried while I was gone to my neighbors and we don't really need much turquoise now because that's all we wanted for was our background. There we go. So that's all we needed it for was for our background. So I don't think we're going to need that again. I think all we're going to need is the, we're not going to need any more blues or greens. No more blues or greens. Just for that. I don't know why I put out that phthalo green like that. I thought I was doing boy. So I don't know. Uh, yes. So I went over the colors. So I'm going to put my palette down. Alice, stop it. Okay. So we are going to draw in our owl. This is really, really simple, guys. It really is. All we're going to do is we're going to draw like an oval. Okay, we're going to draw an oval. And remember, it's chalk, so it doesn't matter. You can go over and erase it. So find your oval. I found my oval. Now what you're going to do is you're going to make another oval. It's going to be a little squished, a little bit more squished, but it's going to go right on top of the head, right here. A little squished, but you know what? It's there. All right? All right. Okay. Now what we're going to do is this owl, <laughs> you're going to be amazed, has ears. I know what you're saying. Let's finish the picture and then you can say it. This owl has a tail. Does that look like an owl? <laughs> no, man, it looks like a cat. But guess what? It will look like an owl when we are done. This is just our black that we're going to color in with black. So we're going to put our chalk away. You know what? I am actually going to put away this big brush so it's not in the way. It's my number one inch flat. I simply said, oh, it's a wash. Sorry, I don't know why I like to call them wash. They should be flats. Like they're flat square brushes, like the art trip says. Grab your, you know, bright. So what I'm going to use for that is <laughs> a bright or a wash. But this one here is just a half inch. Half inch. Whatever you want to use, you use. Whatever brush you have. You go ahead and grab and use it. We're going to pull this into the black and we are good. The paint is awesome. Okay. We didn't get a film on it or anything. This is great. Going to load our brush with the black paint. And we're just going to go in and we're going to paint inside the chalk line. Coloring. Easy peasy. Everybody has colored. We're going to color with paint. We're going to paint in his ear. Paint in his other ear. This is so easy, guys. It doesn't look easy. You're like, oh my god, that picture looks like amazing. <laughs> you know? But you are going to create the exact same picture. And your picture is going to look amazing, too. Okay, painting in his head. That oval mark. And... While we're painting in, I'm going to talk about this computer. Um, my phone didn't have this humming sound in the background, so I noticed in my rubber ducky video, excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> in my rubber ducky video, when I played it back, that it had a humming to it. So I apologize for the audio. And it sounded like I was a little bit far away so I'm going to try and talk a little bit louder so hopefully the microphone can pick me up. Just going to paint that in. 
Looks like a black cat sitting in midair. Now we're gonna go and we're just gonna paint his tail. Whoosh, painted, done. Brush can go into the water. Oh my gosh, look at his ear. I gotta fix that. I have got to fix that. That would drive me nuts, knowing that the ear is like that. I've gotta fix that ear. It has to be like, yeah, there we go. All right. That's better, folks. That's better. Okay, so what we gotta do now is we gotta dry our owl. <laughs> do you think I'm gonna dry it like that? <laughs> I got my handy dandy hair dryer right here. Now it's loud. What I'm gonna do is, when you're using your hair dryer, you wanna use it on the lowest setting. You don't want to use it on the highest heat setting. This is nice and warm, and this is going to dry your canvas. And your canvas is dry when it's not shiny, or it's dry to the touch. We got some shiny up here. You don't want, you want this to be completely dry, because this is your background. You're going to build your color from this. Okay, we're going to turn that off. Yep, he's dry. Yep, she's dry. The owl is dry, and it looks like a cat. It looks like a cat. Hmm. We're going to change that right now. We're going to turn it into an owl, folks. Turning it into an owl. Now, for this part of the painting, I like to use the angle brush. Doesn't matter. You know, um, you want to use a smaller angle brush. You don't want to use a big one because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create the feathers. And with the feathers, what you're going to do is you're just going to push and lift off. Push and lift off. And as you're lifting, you're creating a feathered technique. I don't know if that's right or not. I never looked up on YouTube how to create feathers. I just like to swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our base color and we're using pinks and purples. Right, folks? So our purple is our darker color. So what we want to do is pull some of our purple into our brush. We're going to add just a touch of white to that. Just a touch of white to it. Just to give it a little bit of pigment. It makes the, the purple stand out a bit more. If you don't, here I'll show you. See, the purple is dark here, and it's dark here, and we're going to be putting it on a dark background. So you won't see the pretty purple. So we're just going to add a touch, just the touch of white to it, to create a dark purple with a little bit of pigment so it's going to be picked up. So what we're going to do first is we're going to start with the bottom body. We're not going to attack the head first. We're going to start with the bottom body. You're going to see how easy this is, guys. It's really, really easy. So I got my reference sheets here. I picture in the background and we are going to start and just press and pull. See like that? They just look like lines right now. Just look like lines. But as you press, can't even see it because my hand's in the way. Let me go this way. As you press, you're pressing, but you're lifting as you go. Press and lift as you go. Press and lift, press, lift, press. And what we're doing is creating feathers. Easy peasy, easy peasy. And this side here, you want to curve it. 
with the same shape as the tail. And you'll see that that's where I put the tail, closer to the side because we're gonna curve. And we're gonna be curving in this space here too. So, gotta have a little space there. So we're gonna be curving. So let's just do that, you ready? Can't see it again. So we're gonna press and curve. Press, curve. Press, curve. And it's okay if you go outside the line. Yep, it's okay if you go outside the line. And, and as you come closer, you're gonna go down. just create that and this one here goes down pick up some more purple now that you've seen that I'm just gonna put it on there I'm gonna take a look at it see where I need to just fix it I'm gonna add some purple and now we're going to do the tail. See that? Whoosh marks. Whoosh marks. Press, pull, press, pull. Whoosh marks. Like little smiley faces. This, now that you've, nice and gentle. Press, pull, gentle. You don't want to push your brush on the on the canvas because that will create a really thick line and you don't want a thick line you want it to look like feathers so you want it to be nice and gentle nice and gentle nice and gentle okay then we're going to work a little bit on the face with the same purple And we are going to leave this section here and come above. Oh, you know what? Sorry, folks. Sorry, 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 sorry. We want to give our owl some eyes. Okay. What color eyes do you think our owl should have? Do you think he should have purple eyes or blue eyes? I think the blue will pop with the purple. So what we're gonna do is, I already actually have some, some blue mixed with uh, some white from my previous one. Got some blue mixed with the white. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to, and you can, you know what, let's draw these out. Let's draw these out. I'm just going to put my brush down. I'm going to draw these out. We're going to make two circles. And you're going to paint inside the line with your blue paint. We're going to create blue eyeballs. Okay, ready? Inside the eye. I'm using the angle brush. You can use, again, any brush that you want to use and paint in. This paint is a little bit drier because it was there longer. And paint in And they're pretty big. Like they're nice big blue eyes. Nice big blue eyes. You can make yours purple if you want. 
I'm making mine blue. Rinse, 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 rinse. And now, excuse me. Oh, my phone's ringing, folks. There we go. Sorry, folks. That was a phone call for work. Uh, where was I? Oh, yes. We are going to. We've got the eyes in, and they are dry. And what we're going to do now is add purple above his eye. Okay, we're going to create the eye feathers. So same color. This needs to be a little bit more. So we're going to take our purple and some white, create that nice color. You know what? I'm going to dip my brush in water and mix it so it's a little bit more fluid. It's getting a little dry because it's been on my palette for a while. So I'm going to just paint. And we're going to come up here and just above the eye in the ear area. Okay, just above the eye in the ear area. We're going to leave a little triangle right here. You don't want to put anything in between his eyes because he's got a nose, a little nose coming. Okay, so we're just going to and pull. Fit, we covered that ear. So we no longer has that ear, but it gives it a really nice depth effect for his feathers. Okay, other side. Both sides. Perfect, perfect, perfect. What we're going to do now is, that's good. That's good. I'm going to get my next sketch. And what we're going to do now is just touch them up down here a bit, I guess. We're not going to do any work down here. This is the last part. And right in here is the last part. I'm a little nervous. A little, little nervous. Because we have to build, build them up. We have to build them up. So you know what? We are. We're going to take some just a little bit out this way and around the bottom and a little bit right through here. Okay? Um, okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. Are you ready? Oh my God, am I ready? <laughs> okay. Let's do up here first. It's got some... Remember, we're leaving a little triangle there. Got some feathers. Okay, now we're going to come around here to the side of the face, and we're just Look at him. Kind of, kind of looks like a little rope, that robot guy. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to add in our next color of purple. So we're going to add in, actually, we're going to add in our magenta our magenta. So we're going to take some of our magenta with some of our white. I love this magenta. Mm. A lot of paint in my brush. 
and it's thick because it's been sitting for a while. So you may see me add a little bit of water to my brush and then a little bit of paint. And if your paint gets thick too, if you find that it's too thick that you can't move it on the canvas, add a little bit of water to it. You can add uh, a little bit of water to acrylics. Yeah, how do you think we get the splatter effect? We add water. How do you think we get the drip effect? Which is another tutorial. Get the drip effect. We add water. Okay. So you know what, I want this a little bit darker. So, a little bit more magenta. And we are going to just come out, oh, look at that. Look at that. Remember, light touches. Light touches. You can even bring out a couple feathers out the side if you want. It's completely up to you how you want to do your owl. How fluffy you want them, how not fluffy you want them, or if you make a mistake. It don't matter. So we're going to go up and we're going to do the same effect up here over the ears, but you're leaving. purple underneath. We're going to come back over a little bit around the face. A little bit. And up and over. Oh, there's a big blob of paint there. Oops, a big blob came off my brush. If you want, you can use, just, that's just, you know, whatever, whatever. There we go. See them? Looks like we've covered the purple, but we haven't. You looked, we got two colors of purple. Well, we got the magenta and the purple. So, what we're going to do next is add in just a few of the dark purple highlights here and there. Just purple. Ready? Not too many. We just want highlights here and there. But just the purple. See the just a little bit of highlighting with the dark purple. Adds a little bit more fluff in there. We're gonna do the same up on the top. Not a lot, folks, not a lot. It's all, ch it's getting chunky, I'm gonna have to. There we go, just got a chunk in there. And I'm just using the angle brush. Just the angle brush and bringing some dark purple. There we go. Spot there, little spot there. And now we're going to add the dark magenta. We're going to add little pieces and highlights of the pure magenta because that's a pretty nice color too. And remember, folks, we're not going to add a little bit of water to that. Yeah, add some water to that. There we go. Let that paint smooth. And we're just adding in small highlights. Not a lot of highlights, just like we did with the dark purple. So we'll start here. Oh, it's so pretty. And just add in those magenta highlights. Up here, just a few, just a few magenta highlights coming around. Just a few There we go. Okay. 
Now what we're going to do is, we've got all that in. Okay, we're going to work around the eyes. I'm a little nervous. I'm very, very nervous because I really like this piece. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do now is take our same angle brush and strictly white. Strictly white. So it doesn't matter which white you use. I got a big glob here. I'm going to continue to use this one. And I need to add some water to it because it's globby. I might have to get some new paint. All right, so we're going to add in some white details. But what we're going to do first is we're going to do around the eyes. So this is where the owl really comes out. Okay? All righty. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to go into the triangle area. And we're just going to pull up into the little triangle area. Just like that. Of just white. And it's okay that your paint is uh, wet underneath because it's still going to mix in and give it a light effect. And you don't want to go too high with your feathers, but you still want to blend them in. with, excuse me, feathers up here. My paint's really, really clumpy. Okay, we're gonna try this white. That's better. That's better. All right, so we're gonna create the eyebrow. Well, not the eyebrow, kind of like the eye effect. So what we're gonna do is, is it still really wet? Because I don't want, you know what, it doesn't matter. Does not matter. We are going to arch. We're going to go up and over the eye and curl out. Up and over the eye and curl out. Pull into our white. I'm going to come over to this side. We're going to go up and over the eye and curl out. Up and over the eye, curl out. Shit. And crap. One's higher than the other. See that? One's higher than the other, but you know what? We can go back with our white and fix that. Because we're gonna fluff those eyes out. So we're just gonna go over the eye here a bit. Kind of even them out a bit. Okay, kind of even them out. So, oh, you can see that definitely in the, the camera now. And now what we're gonna do is we've got the eyebrow in. We're just now going to create around the eye, okay? We're going to just highlight now the owl in white. So this is all just strictly white, titanium white. We're going to come up. We're going to do some feathers around the eye. And then blend them out this way. See that? Create some feathers. Just blend it out. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. So I'm just gonna step over here. Sorry folks, I don't want to be in your way, but
Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Now we're going to continue with this white right around just the face. Okay? So pull some more white and we're just going to go little scratchies out and down. Look at them. Just little ones. Now we're going to give them just some little scratchies. Some little scratchies. to the owl with the white and this is where we're just going to add white highlights just like that. Just like that. And then if you want, you can even fix some of this around the eyes. You know, create it to look like that a bit. My paint is really lucky. Thank goodness we're almost done. Okay, we're almost done here. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work around the eyes. Around the eyes. And what we need to do is go into our black and create the pupil. And what we're going to do is we're also going to go up and fix around the outside of this eye here that we went too far up in. We're just going to Go up around it in the black and fix his eye. Didn't really fix it too much. I should have used a detail brush. And then we're going to do the same thing around this eye. Just go around the eye with the black. Can you see that? No, my back's in the way. I just went around and highlighted the eyes. Okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the pupil in. Okay? Pupil goes in the middle. And you can either draw it in or just paint it in. Completely up to you. Oh, wow, one eye is way up higher than the other eye. You can really see that now. I'm going to have to fix that. There. Fixed it, fixed it, fixed. Oh, you know what? I am not happy with this at all. I'm going to go into my blue that I had there. Add some water to it. Get some pigment on the brush without chunks. I'm going to go back in and I'm just going to touch up the eye. I'm just going to touch them up into the blue. Don't pick up that chunk. Into the blue and just fix his eye. There we go. Fixed it. Fixed it. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, what we're going to do next is, I'm just going to give the eyes a quick dry. Quick dry. What I'm going to do next is add in the white highlights in the eyes. And I don't want the colors to mix together to make grays or anything. There we go. I think that's dry enough. 
Yep, you know what we'll do first is we'll add in the nose. Sorry, I got it. Bra. Okay, so we'll add in the nose. And what the nose is, he's just an oval. Now you can chalk him in and paint it, or you can just freehand it in. I am going to attempt to freehand it in. You can add a tiny bit of white with that to give it a little bit of pigment. And you know what? It's kind of like just a long oval. Long oval. It's really, so what we're going to do is we're going to go half and half. And you know what? We're going to cover up part of his eye. He's not like that in the original picture, but I covered his eye and I really don't want to go back over it and try and fix it. So there, we're going to change his appearance a little bit. It's an original, right? It's an original. All right. So we got that. What we're going to do is now get our round detail brush. Round detail brush. Small. This one here, I don't know what number it is. Make sure the brush is dry because we're going to be working in detail. And we're working in detail. You don't want the water running down and dripping on it because then you're going to have water dripping. Oh, look it. See? Just like that. Just like that. It's black paint. Black paint, look at that. You know what? We can paint it out. It's acrylic paint. Alice, stop stressing. Get rid of that. Okay, let's go back to the eyes before I freak out. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add in the lines on his eyes. So we're just going to add in little lines see you didn't want the blue or the black to mix in with this you wanted this there well oh you can't see it right now but and then And we're going to give it some reflection. So we're going to give it a dot, dot, dot. Ready? Dot, dot, dot. Look at how it's coming to life. See that? It's coming to life. Now what you want to do is you can go in. And this is where you're going to add your fine, detailed feathers. And you know what? It doesn't... I am going to use, again... You know what? I have a smaller angle brush. I have a smaller angle brush. Where are you? Where? No, that's a big one. It's around. Where are you? You know what? It's not going to matter. We'll just use this one. And we're going to... This is just white. Load the white up on our brush. Come in under and around the eye a little bit. And just add some feathers around it. See, some scratchy little feathers. Some scratchy little feathers around the eye. Scratch, scratch. Clean this brush off. I'm going to try and get this black. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I got most of it. So now I'm going to go back into my magenta. I'm just going to paint that. Oh. Clean it out. Oh. Now you never know it was there. And we fixed the black, the black drip that was right here. We fixed it 
out of the eyes and the nose. What we're going to do now is, what I want to do now is I'm going to highlight that nose because I think that it needs to be highlighted in black. That's what I think. It needs to be highlighted in black. So take your round brush. And we're just going to make sure the canvas is pressed firmly. And we're just highlighting this nose. This little nose beak. There we go. That just sets him off. Look at that. I think he's stunned. He doesn't kind of look anything like the uh, the other one, but you know what? He doesn't have to. Doesn't have to. Hmm. Wasn't hard at all. Now, it's up to you if you want to sign it. Pick a spot. It can be here. It can be around the edge. It can be on the side. It can be on the back. It's completely up to you, but there we have it. Easy peasy fluffy owl painting tutorial. Until next time, folks.